from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. I am Father Tomasz Skibinski. The televising of this Mass is made possible by the contributions from three donors. The first are anonymous donors from Ottawa, Ontario, for the physical and spiritual healing of their family and for the repose of the souls of family members. The second are David and Debbie Muse from Bittern Lake, Alberta, for the living and deceased members of the Muse and Fontaine families and in gratitude for the daily TV Mass. The third is an anonymous donor from Scarborough, Ontario, for the intentions of all the viewers of the daily TV Mass and for departed family members. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, at the beginning of this celebration, as always, we ask the Lord for pardon and mercy for our sins so that we may worthily celebrate these holy mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called his elder son Esau and said to him, My son. And Esau answered him, Here I am. Isaac said, See, I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now then, take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me. Then prepare for me savory food such as I like, and bring it to me to eat, so that I may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game and bring it, Rebekah said to her son Jacob, Go to the flock and get me two choice kids, so that I may prepare from them savory food for your father, such as he likes and you shall take it to your father to eat, so that he may bless you before he dies. Then Rebekah took the best garments of her elder son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them on her younger son Jacob. And she put the skins of the kids on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. Then she handed the savory food and the bread that she had prepared to her son Jacob. So Jacob went to into his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Now sit up and eat of my game so that you may bless me. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? He answered, because the Lord your God granted me success. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Come near, that I may feel you, my son, 
to know whether you really are my son Esau or not. So Jacob went up to his father Isaac, who felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He did not recognize him because his hands were hairy, like his brother Esau's hands. So Isaac blessed Jacob. He said, Are you really my son Esau? He answered, I am. Then he said, Bring it to me, that I may eat of my son's game and bless you. So Jacob brought it to Isaac, and he ate. And he brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to Jacob, Come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him. And Isaac smelled the smell of his garments and blessed him. And said, Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give you of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of grain and wine. Let peoples serve you, and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be everyone who blesses you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, The disciples of John the Baptist, Baptist came to Jesus saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? 
And Jesus said to them, the wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth to an old cloak, for the patch pulls away the cloak, and a worse tear is made. Neither is the new wine put into old wineskins, otherwise the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This past week we've been listening to the stories from the book of Genesis to the history really of our ancestors, of the patriarchs, and we are going to listen to more of it in the, in the upcoming week as well. And today we arrive to the story of, of those two brothers, Jacob and Esau. Now, um, we haven't heard this, but uh, when they were conceived in the womb of their mother, who was barren, but by the grace of God she was able to conceive, um, there was already the struggle going on in her womb. They were fighting among themselves, and so she asked the Lord, what's going on? And the Lord answered her, there are two great nations that will issue from you. And so the first to be born was Esau. He was the firstborn, and his name means the red one, basically, because he was, uh, he was covered and, and with the hair, and he was, you know, he was reddish. But then Jacob was the second one. But when Jacob was born, he was holding on to the, to the heel of his brother and uh, in a way trying to, you know, to hold on to the, uh, and, and, and to follow his brother or even maybe to, to take advantage of his brother. And so um, as they grow up, Esau is a hunter. He is a very skilled man. He goes into the fields while Jacob stays at home with his mom. Um, and he's, you know, he's a, a man of the house, we can say. And then Jacob really is a, is a very interesting figure because being the second, he didn't have the right to, to be the first, neither he had the right to inherit the goods of his, of his father. But because of his treachery, because he supplants his brother a number of times, um, he, becomes, uh, he becomes a very interesting figure, but also for all of us. There is, in the Bible, there are many stories of the brothers who are, you know, kind of fighting against one another. And, you know, very often God does not choose the first, but the second, even though he might not, he might not have the best of qualities. And so Jacob is like this. First of all, he steals the birthright of his brother. When, he comes, when Esau comes very tired from hunting, he says, I don't care about my birthright. I just want something to eat. Give me something to, to eat. So Jacob gives him this bowl of red lentils, uh, which is a reminder again of, of the name of Esau. But, and so he steals his birthright. Now today we come to another story when Jacob steals the blessing of his father. And uh, it is very interesting because again, <laughs> Jacob is being very close to his mom, listening to her. He, um, he tricks his father, he tricks his dad. The mother prepares this nice stew, he puts the clothing of his brother, and he steals the blessing. And the blessing of the parents are very important. The blessing of a father is very important. And we hear it throughout the scriptures, many fathers who bless their children, um, but also God who constantly blesses his people. And in spite of the fact that Jacob is a liar, that he is very treacherous, that he's very cunning, God chooses him. God chooses him. Why does God choose Jacob? We do not know. We cannot speak about the choices that God makes, but God chooses as he wants. And the fact that we are here today, that maybe it is, maybe you are in the church, maybe not your brother, maybe not your sister, maybe not your family members, but you are there. This is important. Why? 
Because in spite of maybe us being sometimes treacherous and unfaithful and you know, looking for ways how to go ahead on in life, God has chosen us. And not only this, but God has blessed us and keeps blessing us. In the Bible, we hear this blessing many times. This in Hebrew is called berakah, the blessing. And so God, uh, G- Jesus also blesses his father many times. I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have, uh, you know, you have revealed your, yourself to the little ones. The blessing is, an, uh, is of extreme importance. And we ultimately are called to bless the Lord. Our life is meant to be this song of blessing to, to the Lord for everything that he has done because he has already blessed us. He has blessed us through his son, Jesus Christ. And in fact, the Eucharist that we are celebrating is nothing else but a blessing. It's a thanksgiving. It's a blessing to God for everything that we have received. So through our baptism, uh, we have been already, by the fact that we have life, number one, but also through our baptism, we have been called to this. Let us remember this gift that we have received and let us never get rid of this Uh, of our birthright and of the gift of our baptism, which leads us ultimately to eternity, to eternal life, and to the eternal blessing of our Father. Let us now stand and all together, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. Let us pray today for the church. Let us pray for the church that she may be a sign of God's presence. We pray for the Pope, for the Holy Father, that the Lord may bless him abundantly in his ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who asked us for our prayers. We pray for, the, for those uh, thank to whom we can celebrate this Mass, that the Lord may listen to their prayers and intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in our daily TV Mass prayer intentions book, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who feel isolated and alone, may God calm their fears and lead them into peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Almighty Father, we ask you that you may listen to all those prayers as well to those that remain within our hearts and fulfill them all according to your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord God, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. Lift up your hearts. With the mouth of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right in us. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of 
of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Francis our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. We gather 